All right, so I was in Riverside and uh, I went over to Rubido and somebody corrected me and made sure that I wanted that I was in the wrong city. Rubido in Arupa Valley. So correct me for being wrong. So I'm gonna take you over to the better part of Riverside and show you some of the really great things that I didn't get a chance to show you in the other video that is actually Riverside. It's right in the middle of the city. It's fine. But we're run by Democrats now, so you know, the way it is. I was driving along and I saw these fine gentlemen over here. Outstanding citizens there. That's fine. Get another look at them in a second here. Right up here. Great place to hang out and do this. Nice. We haven't even got where I was going to show you. I just saw that on the way there. It's right across the street from this motorhome park and behind the green screen. Here's another angle of that. Think they live in them or you think that's just uh, on vacation? I would say definitely livers. Right up the street, uh, car liver. A little further up the road, Tent City. This is Riverside, guys. That's Riverside. It's fine. It's a fine city. Very nice. All the way down, around the corner. Oh, yeah. Right in Riverside, where somebody says, oh, it's not as bad as the Rubido. Oh, it's, it's a little worse. Let me show you some better stuff. I think it's warming up a little. Got the local, uh, I don't know. And another one over here. It's these folks here, they're not just riding for exercise. This is right near Kansas and Third, if you're wondering, and you live in Riverside, you think it doesn't happen out here, it's all over. Abandoned buildings, yep. Got those too. Right near the women's shelter, over here, nice. Got one of those. Rent me. That is not unsightly at all. And then a yard like that. Oh, tents everywhere. So we got uh, fences in the front yard to make sure nobody gets in. That was not graffiti on those walls. They just touched it up. It's fine. Or beat up cars out front. Yeah. I have an egg on that thing. What is that? Look at that. In the front yard. Nice. For everybody to see. On display. Yes, this is Riverside, guys. This is there's lots of this here in this area of town. It used to be called East Side. And it's kind of still like that. So yeah, look at that. Huh. Beautiful. Right in your, right for everybody to see. Thank you, thank you. I really wanted to see that. And I can just drive straight through this part of the city, and it all kind of looks the same. Ah, uh, make sure you shut the gate after you get in there. You don't want to lay by in there, you know. Gotta shut that gate. And this guy does transmissions. No, they don't leave couches out in the street for people to sit on. Nope. And everybody in this city has a lawnmower, that's for sure. I needed a place to fix my trailer, so I just decided this was a spot. That's not rust. It's patina. I don't know what the heck that is. Look at that. Nice. Move in ready. Still really nice neighborhoods. Let's go to the good stuff now. Wow. That says it all. Local homeless guys having a meeting. Let's take a look at this again. Wow. Watch out, he's got a backpack. You might find something missing. That's not trash, that's all my stuff. See? I live right here. 
whatever you want for sale, we're selling it here for sale. It's fine. Just coming back from shopping. It's fine. You know, guys, it's not Los Angeles. It's Riverside. Shame to say, it's like everywhere. I go to places and I get asked for change. I feel like I'm in Los Angeles and it just is depressing. Right here, if you're looking for it, Riverside. Buy a whole bedroom set, get it for free. Home sweet home. Yes, all you saw right there was all from a homeless person just leaving their stuff. Disgusting. Really no reason for it. Just because you're homeless doesn't give you the right to leave trash everywhere. Looking for cans? I don't know if you can even see that. Maybe. I don't know what he's doing. And that's what I want to see driving down my street. Wonderful. Yep, this is legit Riverside right here, guys. Look at that. Oh my God. Let me get you a little closer. Was that a house? I guess it was. Not anymore. Next to this stuff. Another look. All right. <laughs> wow, look at that. Is there any? Is there any stucco left on that? Is it just like pieces of a house? Nice. Riverside. East side. Wonderful. Fences in the front yard. Beware a dog and you can too live in this shed. It's only $300 a month. It's all yours. And people do live in stuff like that around here. And the worst part is it's not the person living in that it's the person that rented it to him like that trailer and it's again mattress month for whole bed all for free and somebody died right here well it was a shooting or something who knows we got the front house for rent again let's see if I can get this really good and then you got all this nice ornamental stuff to look at or you got the back house Look where they leave the dog. Just chain him out and let him move outside. It's fine. So I'm trying to figure out what they're doing with their yard here. I don't know. Just plant whatever you can and it works just fine. You can just park like this guy did. That's fine. No place to park on the street, I guess. Duplexes. It's just great. This stuff is wonderful. Just what I want to look at every day when I get up. And just so you know where I'm at, uh, this is Park Avenue Park. Isn't that nice? See, that's why I know. Riverside. Well, that's kind of attractive, I suppose. I really like the color of the front of this building. I think I'll put that on my house. Nice, attractive part of town. There you go. So right up here, we got some uh, action going on. There you go. I don't know what's up with these folks. Looks like they're uh, a little lost. And then you got this nice looking sightly place here. We've got uh, that pile of rubble. I don't know what that is. Is this somebody's camp? I don't know. Same parking lot over here. They just left that for someone to pick up. Ladies pointing at me. That's a woman. Jeez oh. Nice. And they just left this one out here for you just in case you need it. You know, there's a mattress for you. 
Like he's laying on the ground, but she could be laying on that. Yeah, I woke her up in her beauty sleep because uh, they're gonna get up tonight and go see what they can do, some clucking, see what they can get. That's what these guys do out around here. They work at night, sleep all day. And their work is taking stuff from you. Interesting folks, we got one over here. I guess that's kind of sad, isn't it? We got this guy over here. I don't know what's going on there. He's been there for a while. And you got these folks over here, kind of spun ducky guys. They're waiting for the bus. I mean, that's fine. Well, at least one of them is waiting for the bus. I don't know about the other ones. They're social distancing too. Or you can just go check in at the Budget Inn. That's a fantastic place to stay. There you go. Second look there. This is what happens at night around here. People just break into stuff. And the bad boys, bad boys are looking for somebody. Probably the guy who did this. Maybe it's them. Or this guy. Skylark Motel. It's all yours. Move right in. I think she's lost in directions. I'm not sure. So what the heck is going on here? I don't know what's going on with that guy. How about this car here? Should that be on the road? You know, it's a good part of town when they got razor wire up and it's all falling down, of course. Because that means so many people have tried to climb over it. It's crazy. Yep, they're out there. Yeah, just leave it there. It's fine. What's he up to? Let's watch him for a little while. You two can move into the local Motel 6. You know there's good stuff going on in there. That's one place I'll never stay anymore. Back when I was a kid, you could go to Motel 6 in California. It wasn't that bad. Nowadays, you just don't know what you're going to get. Nice. And the starting rent in these apartments right next door to there are like $1,500 a month. Totally affordable for a one bedroom. Absolutely affordable. You can just drive one of these if you've got the money for it. Yeah, we got this fellow here. I don't know what he's got there. A lot of interesting stuff right there stop at the local Starbucks and get a coffee and that sounds great doesn't it so any idea what's in the bags maybe it's something that just showed up missing at your house really insane time to take a leak gotta do it somewheres and we're getting close to them here you go guys it's like a, oh, I guess it's a campground over here. That's fine. And it goes all the way over there. Nice. Second look. Oh, I don't know what that guy's doing. Playing with himself. Interesting. She's a. Or you can live in one of these nice apartments right across the way from that. A nice clear view of it How about fifteen hundred dollars a month or more for a one bedroom hey what a deal and some of these places they don't even check if you have enough income that's great because they don't really care they just want their money or you can have a business right here that gets broken into every night from those nice folks He's not homeless, he's just doing security. Parked it there last year and it's been there ever since. Or you can go to La Sierra. That's always good. Lots of nice places to live over here in La Sierra. Boy, this is just country style living too. Beautiful. Wow, that house was boarded up. I don't know if I got it in the film, but yeah, we got a housing shortage and boarded up homes.
This is actually quite interesting. I don't know what it is, but it's some kind of a, a thing. I don't know. You tell me. Comment. Check this out, man. Winner, winner. Move in. Yeah, there you go. This is it. This goes on for miles, by the way. You can just enjoy this. Hey, beauty salon. Think they live in that? My guess is yes. Oh, that's really well kept property there. Really nice. Looking for cans. And this guy stepped it up to an e-bike. All right, let's see if I can get this on film. I don't know. That doesn't look very nice. He's got to fix it. Well, if you can't afford the motorhome, you can always move into your car. It's a good place. Hey, they just do a little artwork if the trailer sits there too long. That's fine. There you go. Really nice and sightly there, guys. Local means of transportation, bus. Now, if you're wondering why a lot of us don't ride the bus, that might give you a good reason why. Yep, just backpacking. This guy, who knows? What the hell's going on there? Always interesting folk outside the discount grocery place. They even need to chain off the backyard. Yeah, lovely. Just love it. And this here was a uh, pharmacy. You know, this is brand new building, brand new. You know, the homeless keep breaking in here and just tear this whole place up. I hate to see what it's like inside. You just get in there. I've been getting in there many, many times over and over. They just tear it up. Okay, mattress day. Yep. Just leave them there, somebody will take them, right? Not. I don't know how many square miles La Sierra is, but it's a big part of our city in Riverside. And it is unsightly. Just nice. I think I want to take my kids there to learn something. Well, you can always move in out here and start your own RV life channel. Like this guy. Or that one. They might not even be doing YouTube. They might just be living there. That's the only place they can afford to live. With these high rent prices. Houses over here, I don't know what they charge. $1,800, $2,000. Just crazy. Or you can live in the front house. Or down that driveway in the back house. I looked up rents and I couldn't see anything less than almost two thousand dollars if it was less than two thousand dollars it was worse than this neighborhood again you can rent the front house or the shed in the back house yeah pretty good price bet they want at least three or four hundred dollars a month for the shed and believe me somebody's living in that code enforcement told him he couldn't have the back ends hanging off into the sidewalk so he worked it out. I said that great. Nice peeling paint too. You guys, last year has always been a little bit rough, been a little funny on the edges here and there, but it's not been as bad as it has in the last 10 years. It's just gotten exponentially worse. Every year I come over here in the last 10 years, it's just gotten more and more and more problematic more homeless you, you didn't see any homeless on this side of town and now it's it's I just drive along and I see a random homeless person anywhere just walking down a street like this you just see somebody it's just really bad so anyway I thought you guys might enjoy this uh, this part uh, I could film all day in just this area of town it's just like this for 10 15 square miles I don't know a lot it's almost 
almost half of the population of Riverside is in those two areas that I filmed today. So there are some nicer areas, obviously, in every city that I film. But there's a lot of really, really rough ones as well. Country style living in La Sierra. You can have horses here too. Yeah, you don't see many of those around. Beautiful. How many cars you got in the yard there? Wow, parking lot. Probably uh, at least three families live in that house. Look at this one. It just goes on for miles. It's everywhere out here. And just just you just leave it in the front yard because we just want to show it to everyone thank you like this truck nice if you got an old camping trailer just park it out back make it into another home nobody cares around here that's nice or sale if you want them tires lots of them there you go let's put it on a lot somewhere and rent it out there you go rental opportunities check this out we got carport and then you got right here rental right behind it don't think I'm kidding that's what they do around here just rent it out wherever they can it's crazy how about that house goes all the way back here a lot of it's covered up into whatever that is back there right next door to your nice little house nice little house not bad La Sierra country living horses or gavayus depends on how you say it lots of them What's that? Is he moving in? Or just going to the junkyard? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Don't forget, there's a curb alert over here. Uh, what is it? Uh, couches? Yeah, we're good. It's fine. This goes on for miles. I could go down to every street and just shock you guys with every street over here. If you want me to, uh, let me know. I'll put it in the comments and maybe I'll just drive down every street Put on the other camera and just put it up on the hood with the The uh, thing that I can move it with and then just drive around get a really clear view of this crap It's just continual all the way through here So very sightly Very nice You know, the sad part is, as I can tell you guys, it doesn't matter where you are in the city. Uh, it's just, it's everywhere you go, you see homeless people. It's like just random little areas. And you never saw that 10, 12, 13, 15 years ago. Not at all. 20 years ago, there was, you know, there was just a few people downtown and that's it. Every downtown's had a few. But now it's just like, everywhere so anyway uh i think i'll talk to you guys in the next video we'll just go ahead and end here uh please like share and subscribe hope you enjoyed the footage and uh the nice parts of riverside because there's some really nice areas but uh these are the special ones talk to you in the next one